Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. we got Sebastian in here with us. And this is Sebastian's very first visit here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. He's a self-professed, self-cracking patient. He's been trying to crack his neck and his back and his hips for ages, right? Yes, sir. Because that makes him feel a little bit better whenever he feels him pop. I told him you're going to have to break him of that habit so I can do that for him. And then he can strengthen up in place as opposed to out of place. Because he works out a lot, and you feel these things getting worse when you're working out, right? Yes, yes, that's right. And that's why he's here. He's got low back pain and left leg pain, which is sciatica. He gets cramps down into his lower legs and the calves, and he also gets cramps in his lumbar spine as well. Upper and mid thoracic tightness, left shoulder, global pain, front and back. And he gets tension headaches a couple times a month, right in the occipital region. They're chronic. They've been going on for years. Bilateral hip pain deep down in the hip joints themselves. A lot of people call their hips back here. Those are the sacroiliac joints. The hips are deep, deep down in there. And he gets numbness and tingling specifically in the little finger and the ring finger. That's C7 and C8 dermatomes. He denies any loss of bladder bowel function and he doesn't have foot drop. He got an MRI done, what, about a year ago? Yeah. And they told him he had a herniated disc. He didn't remember what level, but he's going to get us the MRI to look at. I'm sure it's L5 because that's what my examination showed me. But it has, he doesn't have severe radiculopathy, which is where lightning bolt pain shooting all the way down his legs. And that's a good sign, actually. So if we can just keep him from trying to crack himself and adjust himself, I think we can make some good progress with Sebastian. This is his very first adjustment. He's also a self-professed uh, crack addict watching our channel for like five years. Yeah. So we're gonna do his first adjustment here today. Let's have you lay on his tummy first then, Sebastian. Now I've already done his history and examination. Was that detailed, comprehensive, Sebastian? Yes, yes. More so than what you've had with other doctors? Definitely. Yeah. Now his left leg's a half an inch shorter in this prone position. I'm just doing this over for you guys. See, it gets even here. That's a positive deer field on the left. And because his pelvis raised up and that tightened up in his low back and thighs, that's also a positive knockless. He's got left sacral deviation here. He wasn't able to lift this left leg up as high or as easy as the right one. So his sacrum subluxated, and that can affect both SI joints. In his case, it's affecting his left one a little bit more so. His lumbar spine's involved and has subluxation levels. That's oh, okay. right there, huh? Yeah. And see, he's got a little increased curve going on here. We call that a hyperkyphosis. His is just in the beginning stages. When you get older, though, that's when you start seeing kind of the hunchback Tim Conley is walking around all the time. Tight shoulders all the time. He's a, he drives a lot and he oh. has to stretch himself out and even try to crack himself in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and That's he cracked out while driving. <laughs> yeah. You're going to crack people up, Sebastian. <laughs> so, he does have subluxation in the pelvis, lumbar spine, thoracic spine, ribcage, and cervical spine. I, uh, I asked him all ago if he was ready to get those adjusted today, and he, he gave me consent, but I wanted to have you do that for the camera, too. Do I have consent to treat you for those things today? Yes, sir, definitely. Okay. You can start off with your pelvis. All right. Some of these might be a little sore at first, Sebastian, just because they've been out for a while. But they should feel better once I adjust them. This one's probably gonna be the most sore. A little deeper in person, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I bet my crack is better than your cracking. Oh, my Lord. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're just getting started. Let's uh, wrap that towel around your neck. All right, breathe. There you go. All right. Well, look at uh, that kyphosis is already leveled out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, on your back for me now. You okay? Yes. <laughs> it's a little deeper in person, huh? Yes, it's crazy. 
<laughs> Here, scoot down this way just a tad. There you go. Okay? Mm -hmm. You want me to continue? Yes. Okay. Open. Close. Okay, he's got some TMJ subluxation too. Open it halfway only. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, open and close it again. Is that any different? Mm -hmm. mm. In what way? Hurts more? <laughs> TMJs are tricky joints. You don't want to mess with those a lot because they have more neurology going to your TMJ than any other joint in the body. Scoot down this way about an inch. I'm going to adjust those ribs for you now. Put both arms out like this, Sebastian. Yep. You said your prayers today, right? <laughs> Break for you. Yeah, this right side, I don't know if you ever noticed this, it's so right side's up on top of your sternum. See the difference? Do you feel the difference, Sebastian? I do. Yeah. Do you see that from there? There we go. Okay, you can relax your hands right there now. Let this right leg go like a limp rag for me, Sebastian. Oh yes, my sir. lord. Yep. <laughs> Can't get out of here without me pulling your leg and shooting you. Oh yes, my sir. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see it just face out that way. Yes, sir. You sit all the way back into your seat in the car, or do you lean forward? I'm probably lean forward. Yeah, that's what your posture showing. If you sit back in your chair and your head touches the headrest, mm -hmm. if you get rear-ended, you won't get a whiplash. If you're forward, you will get a whiplash. Just for future reference. Mm -hmm. It's also better for your posture and your spine. You're gonna be a cracked eggs favorite too. Sebastian, let's go over on this table next. So I'm gonna lay you on your back now with your butt right there, head up this way. I'm gonna decompress your entire spine now from your skull all the way down to your pelvis. Slide down this way about two inches. Keep going. There we go, right there. Let your leg just relax, Sebastian. The pillow's gonna lift them up. You can rest these guys here. I'm gonna pin your pelvis in on both sides. You notice how I'm gonna scoot the pads down? And it gives them back some padding on your iliac crest. This is gonna feel really tight, Sebastian. It's supposed to. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're not gonna get away now. Oh, breathe, breathe. <laughs> In through your nose, out through your nose. Okay. So on this one, all you gotta do is breathe. Keep your teeth together, don't bite your tongue. You don't need to clench them, just keep them together. Mm, yes, sorry. My God, what the? Fuck? Yeah. Oh, you must shit. have watched Jack Harlow's video. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I'm, I've heard those words on this adjustment before. Put your hands up here and rest. Oh, my God. Deep, and my phone deep, is going Deep deep inhale, so exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. That'll calm you down quicker than anything. Put your hands up on your tummy now. <sighs> the cracking just beginning. Oh my fuck. Here, let go. <sighs> oh shit. And looky there, he's still smiling. No. <laughs> oh it's still attached. Mmm. Oh. Oh shit. You gonna make it there, champ? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> okay. Let me help you up. Oh shit. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna stand here in front of the mirror now. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh. <laughs> oh my here, let your hands God. just drop. Look at your posture now though. It's better. See you're standing up straighter. 
your head buds like this. You can kind of look like a Neanderthal when you want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Okay, relax. I'm going to bounce these muscles with this instrument. There's probably still be some sore spots in there at this point. Oh, okay, Lord. this is your homework. Your head is forward to the right. So shoulders up and back, up all the way, and then back all the way, flare these here like this. See how it tightens up that trap? Okay, here's the hard part. You're forward and you're right, so we're gonna translate backwards, translate left, look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. See, you're translating, now look back. Oh my lord. Yep. There you go. Okay, relax. Try going forward and backwards again. Sebastian, tell me how this feels comparatively. Oh, it feels tight right now in the back. Tight? Yes, sir. That didn't loosen up in your neck going forward and backwards? Or any smoother? Um, oh, yeah, well, maybe, no. Can you imagine that? You're just sore from the adjustment. You'll be sore for about 72 hours after oh, this first adjustment. Shit. So wherever you get sore, including where the iliac crest, those pins were, crush the ice right on the skin for tw uh, 20 minutes only. Nah, I feel Don't put any heat on there. It's better in there. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think it feels nice. You're going to make it. You will be okay. sore, though, so just get that crushed ice put on there. 20 minutes on, an hour off. You need to do that while you're driving. Just sit on a towel because it will not get your seat wet. So you'll hold this adjustment better if you do a 10-minute fast, brisk walk, like a fast walker race right mm -hmm. after your adjustment before you sit down in your car and leave. Okay. So go out around the floor here, do five minutes each direction as fast as you can walk. Okay. Let me just have you demonstrate that so I can see if you're doing it right. Walk down the hallway as fast as you can. Keep the chin up. A little faster. Good. Faster. Just like that for 10 minutes. We can reteach your brain how to hold your spine in this new position quicker. It's called neuroplasticity. The brain is constantly adapting to its environment, internally and externally. I've just changed your entire internal environment biomechanically. So we wanted to get used to the new you, not the old you. Okay. You've already adapted to the old you. But I don't know what you're doing this this afternoon. No, I'm not. I'm not. Or that with your hip. I won't. How's all that feel right now, by the way? I feel good. My, my legs is feeling real nice. Yeah. So. You've watched our videos for five years. What would you tell the rest of our crack addicts around the world about your very first experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief compared to what you just saw on YouTube? It was great. It's Did it meet with your expectations? More. It's crazy. It's crazy. You got to come do it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not like the video. Well, it is like the video. I mean, it is, but a, better, a lot better than the video. Yeah. Like, you see the video, but not as crazy in here. It's better in person, that's for sure. It's a lot better. you're getting the real deal. You're not just dreaming about it. No, nah, come. You're just, and cracking yourself. Come do it. It's, yeah. It feels nice. So are you feeling better than when you walked in? Yes, I definitely feel sore. lighter. I feel yeah. light right yeah, now. You're going to be sore, though. Feel. So don't be freaked out when you get sore. Good. You had anything else you'd like to share about your first visit here? No, it was great. Good. Thank you, guys. Well, thank um, you. And definitely come get it done. Thanks for being a crack addict. Thank again. you, son. This is your Houston chiropractor calling out to all you crack addicts. If you've got a spine, you need a ring dinger. We'll see y'all soon.